Hi everyone, welcome back to Abranale channel. Today we are going to see ISO 19011 and version is 2008. This is my fifth video on the topic of ISO 19011. 19011 you all know, it's a standard for guidelines for auditing management system, right? It has got seven classes, you all know. The seven classes uh, namely uh, scope is a 1, normative reference is a 2, then terms and definition is a 3 and then there is a principle of auditing is 4 and the, the center of the discussion today we are going to talk about is managing an audit program class number 5 in the fifth version of this uh, audio uh, video we are going to talk about it and then conducting audit and then you have a competence and evaluation of auditors and then there is also an annexure and bibliography and all that. So now we are going to talk about five, class number five, managing audit program. Managing audit program has got six subclasses, right? Namely, the first one is general. So when you say an audit program, right? What are the basic thing you need to follow, right? You need to have an opening meeting. You need to select an auditor. The auditor shall not be from the own function and so on. Various other things. That's what it clarifies in general. And then 5.2, establishing audit program objective. What is the objective of this uh, audit? And which is a function? Which is a main function? Which is a supporting function? Uh, which function has got more customer concern? Which function has got more impact, more internal issues, more warranty issues, all of these things, you create a precise objective, right? You will not, so that your, your whole audit program will be attain more success. Not only that, it will be more focused and uh, result oriented. The next one is 5.3, determining an evaluation of audit program, risk and opportunity. As I in my previous video, I touch upon risk and opportunities. Uh, the whole audit program we need to adjust based on the risk, based on the customer complaint, based on the concern. Let's say function A, function B you have, function A no concern, 0 ppm and then function B you have, there you have 100 ppm maybe. Uh, what we need to do is 0 ppm maybe we can change the frequent to, frequency to quarterly to half yearly or half yearly to annually, no problem. But when it comes to the concern, recurring concern function, where you can increase the, you know, the audit cycle so that you will be able to figure out what are the things are, are the cause for the failure and so on, right? You will be able to evaluate the complete system, how the corrective and preventive action is being taken care, whether the preventive action is robust enough and all that, right? That's what it means by determine, determining and evaluating the audit program and risk and opportunity, RO, risk and opportunity. Then you have 5.4, establishing an audit program. Now you're establishing the entire audit program. Like first one is auditor, right? Auditor has to be certified one. Only those who are certified can conduct an audit. Auditor shall not be from own function. For example, I belong to function A. I will not be able to do an audit for function A, but I can do it cross function, right? That's what, and then what is the criteria? Again, in line to my previous point that, you know, the audit program, you can have it, the criteria, the checklist, you can have it in line to what is the need of uh, the function. And then implementing the audit program. That means you're executing the plans, right? This is the uh, opening meeting. You're, you're scheduling the, uh, the meetings or you're going through the audit program, how you should be and all that it has been linked to the previous one, principle of auditing, where it talks about integrity and you know professionalism and all that is being coined. And then the last and final one you have after implementing it, you have review, review, uh, reviewing it and then you're also imp uh, improving it. You know, you keep improve the plans and uh, the audit program and all that. So this is the entire class number five is all about. I hope you find this video very useful. Please do like, share, subscribe my channel. You have wonderful day ahead.